All right, so you made this great design and you would like to make this basically a print and cut. But when you do these steps that you need in order to make it a print and cut, for example, selecting the entire thing, and you can see over here on our layers panel that they are all set to cut, and we need to change this so that it will basically be a print then cut. So when I go over here and I go ahead and click the flatten, you would think that when you click go that everything would be all nice and good. However, you can see from right here that it is putting a bleed on all of those letters. And to me, that indicates that the cutter is actually going to be cutting this out. So what can you do in order to prevent that? Well, I'm going to show you how. And I'm going to start by basically unflattening this, okay? So I go ahead and go to unflatten. Now I have all those pieces again. Um, I'm going to click this very background layer. And what I'm going to do is I want to place basically a white background because printers do not print white, all right? But uh, I do want this outer edge of this license plate uh, cut. And I don't want any of the letters on the inside or those little screw holes cut. So this is what I'm going to do. You see this right here. So I'm going to click on this. And right now it's right down here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste. And what you're going to see here is I have two pieces. Now, I'm going to go ahead and contour this piece right here okay I want to contour I'm gonna contour out the middle piece right here so how can I do that I select it but you're noticing that my my contour option is not available well that's because it is selected right now as a, a print and cut okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click this and you can see over here my layers this one is the one that is selected and I'm gonna go ahead and change this from a print to an actual cut and when I do that the contour option becomes available so when I click contour now I'm going to click on this which basically removes the inside of it so now we have a nice green outline um, for coloring sake because um, if I put this over the license plate, uh, obviously it's on top of it. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it. So I click on here, change it to white. Remember, white does not print when we send it to the printer. Okay, There is no color ink for white. It just assumes that you have white paper and it leaves it blank with no ink. All right, so we got that done. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I want to group this real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and click group. And you're going to see why I'm doing this here because I want to uh, align this with this perfectly. So I'm going to select both of these now and now I'm going to go ahead and align. I'm going to go ahead and click Align Center. Now I know that they're both on top of each other and that will work out just fine. Now all I need to do left is flatten the entire thing. And now when I click Go, you will see that those letters in the middle are no longer bled because we have that white background behind there basically using that as an entire going around the entire thing as a cut okay so hopefully that helps you guys out uh, when you're making these kind of tags uh, so that you can basically do a print then cut and have something go around the outside of the shape instead of uh, Cricut Design Space thinking that you need to cut on the inside letters as well okay